try to see what's wrong with these plays. If you thought it was a defense of 3 seconds, you're wrong. According to the NBA rulebook, a player can stay in the paint as long as his man has the ball. This is a rule that a lot of fans are unaware of because they assume defensive 3 seconds applies to all players. And the person that abuses this rule is Brook Lopez. Last playoffs, this was a big factor in the Bucks' success as it was used against the Heat in Bam Adebayo, the Nets in Blake Griffin and Brown, and the Suns in DeAndre Ayton, all who don't consistently shoot threes. Let's look at why this works. Since Brook is in a deep drop, the Bucks can face guard and play really aggressive and exaggerated denial defense, making it really difficult for KD to get the ball. Look at how Tucker is playing KD. Tucker gets a low center of gravity, which like in many sports, the lower man usually wins. And he leans his whole body weight and basically hugs KD. So any movement KD wants will have to go through Tucker. Outside of double teaming, this is probably the best way to guard KD because he's gonna score no matter how great defense you play. So you make him work extremely hard to even get the ball and hope to tire him out. This is an extreme defensive position because they aren't even looking at the ball. Usually in this situation, the ball is zipped by your ear for a backdoor layup. But because Brook is clogging the paint, the Bucks can get away with it. You can't high low pass either, as here Brook stays in the paint for 2 seconds, but once the pass goes to his man, the count stops, so this rule can allow Brook to stay in the paint for more than 3 seconds. Look at how hard Chris Paul has to work to get the ball. There's a lot of grabbing going on, and it's safe to say it's hard to move when Holiday has his hands on you. So to deal with this pressure the whole game is tiring on any player. The counter for this defensive coverage is to screen for the guard because the big is so far back. But again, because of the constant pressure, this wears on them throughout the game. The best counter is to simply knock down the open threes or play a big who shoots threes often. But for some teams, this might not be a solution. Unless the rule changes, look for teams to continue to use this scheme against non-shooters 